Good morning, this is meteorologist Jonathan Kurtz with the National Weather Service in Norman, Oklahoma with a weekly weather briefing for Monday, November 4th, 2013. This briefing will cover rain chances increasing later this afternoon and overnight. Widespread showers and storms are expected to occur Tuesday through Wednesday. Severe storms are very unlikely, though a few stronger storms may produce some small hail, but overall, no severe weather is expected. Heavy rainfall and flash flooding, there is a small potential but for the most part, it will be highly localized across the region. Colder air will then arrive on Wednesday, and then we'll have season, seasonally mild and dry conditions Thursday through the weekend. For today, rain chances will be increasing through the late afternoon and evening. There's already some small showers going on across far south-central Oklahoma this morning. This activity should increase through the afternoon as moisture increases through the mid-levels of the atmosphere. Best chance for any kind of Widespread rainfall will be across the Red River Valley and from northern Texas into southern Oklahoma from Wichita Falls to Durant. Rain will then overspread and, and increase in coverage across the region tonight through Tuesday morning. There should be numerous showers and storms across the region. No severe storms are expected, but the, most of the region from central Oklahoma out into western Oklahoma should see a decent shot of rainfall across the region. Shower and thunderstorm activity will then continue through the day on Tuesday with rainfall increasing across central Oklahoma and northern Texas. As you can see the very wide swath of heavy rain that will be possible all the way from Ponca City down to Durant. So basically along the I-35 corridor there's a good chance of some heavy rain through the day. A few stronger storms in the morning on Tuesday may produce some small hail but no severe weather is expected. As the cold front finally moves off the panhandles and across the region, very cold air will funnel in behind it. Ahead of the front, rainfall activity will finally begin to shift off to the southeast across the region. So heavy rainfall will remain possible across south central and southeastern Oklahoma through the, through the overnight hours into Wednesday morning. For Wednesday, high temperatures will be much colder than, than previous days. We'll see highs in the mid to, mid to upper 50s across the region with some lingering showers across south central Oklahoma. Here's the expected rainfall totals across the region from today through Wednesday, so the entire storm system. Across western Oklahoma, anyone can see from a half inch up to an inch, maybe, a, maybe greater in some localized areas. Across central Oklahoma, mainly along the I-44 and I-35 corridors, you'll, you'll see anywhere from one inch to up to maybe one and a half inches, up to near two inches. The area for the greatest amount of rainfall will be across south central Oklahoma and southeastern Oklahoma, where you see the two inch plus region. So for this week, we should see fairly active weather from this evening through Wednesday and then much more seasonable conditions from Thursday through the weekend. Coldest days will probably be Wednesday and Thursday, especially overnight lows Wednesday night and Thursday morning where we'll see lows in the lower 30s. Might see some, lo some locations will likely drop below freezing, but a hard freeze does not look imminent at this time. One last thing for this briefing, I want to pitch the MPing app from the National Severe Storms Laboratory, another tenant of the National Weather Center, the building that our office is located in. This is a free app available on both iTunes and the uh, Google Market or Google Play Store. This app allows you to report any kind of weather phenomenon straight from your smartphone, record your location, and lets you pick all different kinds of options of how to report. We are getting this data into our office now, so it's a good way if you're, if you're in a hurry and you have a smartphone and you wanna report, say, hail, you can basically drop an MPing report, and it helps researchers here at the University of Oklahoma and at the National Severe Storms Laboratory, and helps us do our job better during significant weather events. So if you have a smartphone, either Android or, or an iPhone, please check out this app. And if you want more information on this app, this same slide is on our webpage. So check out our webpage if you'd like to see, this, see the slides some more. And that concludes the weather briefing from the National Weather Service here in Norman, Oklahoma. I just want to remind you that for all the updated forecast warnings and watches, always go to our webpage at weather.gov forward slash Norman. You can find all these graphics there all the time. And if you'd like to, please follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And of course, we have a YouTube channel where we're posting these briefings. So have a great Monday and have a great rest of your week. Thank you.